Well, we get to fight that fun boss again. It shouldn't be harder the second time. It'll be fine. If we get away with stealing the golden candelabrum. Hmm. I just need to be more aggressive on using the healing cells and stuff in the big dungeons. It's just me being greedy. I'll buy the ham. Make it easy on us. Maybe I can sell the gloves to the merchant over here. Got the herbal extract. No, but I have the ether inhaler. That's what the, that's for pain. I don't need the herbal extract too. Okay. Once more into the breach. We don't have the quest yet. No. I feel like uh, there was something else that I was supposed to write a water skin. Don't you usually do Iron Man runs? Not so much anymore. Um, this is the second non-iron or non-permadeath run in a row. And I am quite liking it. We get to see some endgame content because usually, you know, we die like I just did. And then the, the run will end and we never get to see the, the troll fight and the new Manticore fight. So I have decided that the next run, probably the next two runs, will be permadeath runs. And then we might go back to non-permadeath again. Because I am really enjoying... First of all, I get to test a little bit more. I can be a little bit more risky with what, the stuff that I do. And um, yeah. No, I'm just in general... Um, Enjoying not playing permanent for once. It's ending a run prematurely just it never feels good. And we play games to have fun, you know. And I think most of the viewers agree. And you're allowed to hate it if you don't like it, but... I think I was playing so many permanent runs... Uh, used to be that way and then I kind of got tired of losing all the time starting runs over before I even get to the like level 7 where the the, the, the beginning of the game is not the, the interesting part the, the level 5 to, to 10 maybe even up to 15 now is, is the fun part of the game and I want to get there when we play permadeath I have to play in a special way like a super careful and kind of boring way if I'm honest it gets a little bit it's either you play fun and then you risk suddenly ending your run or you play boring and then you're not really having fun but then you get to the end and then you won't go for the troll when you think you can go for the troll you will go to the troll and the manticore when you know that there's no chance that that you could ever die and then that's not really fun i think when i have explored the end game content as i have now in the current update i think we can get further in a permadeath run because i've sort of tested the limits of the current update now a little bit anyway so it'll be It'll be fun for the next one to see how permadeath feels now that we haven't played it in a while. And we're getting close. Um, I, I only care about beating the Manticore from here. Once we've done that, I will switch over and play the new run. Oh. See, this is where a permadeath run would probably end. <laughs> because I won't die here. I'm immortal. Twenty-two percent health and he's running away. Okay. I can't kill that with a throw. Oh. 
Uh, this just hit him normally. Yeah. That's what I thought. Can't make up his mind. Oh, a traveling dagger. Come on, dude. Let's see if we can do better this time in the dungeon. Hey, okay. I'll be more careful. I do want to. I do want to clear the whole thing, not just go for the boss. So, just be more careful. Respect the enemies. This is the tile. Oh no, I missed. It's over here. being covered behind his friend here. Oh, he can see me, but I can't see him. Ow. Dash to come online here. What? He shot twice in a row with a crossbow. That is that a thing? <laughs> it's when. So Steps a lot doing. I actually had a build called Sir Steps a lot once to offer. This isn't it. This is Mr. Stepman. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're doing okay. I did just die, so like I guess not super great, but that we can chuck it up to me playing a little bit um, too aggressively. I was too overconfident. So now we will go for the same dungeon here again. And do better. And not aggro multiple enemies at once when one could have been aggroed alone. Uh, 
Uh, I placed myself poorly again. Here would have been better. Uh, no, doesn't matter. That was bad luck. He can't use his jump in this angle, surely. I am having a hard time dealing damage to these guys at all. It is kind of frustrating. I don't know if he can jump diagonally there. I don't think so. I think he won't. I was right. Ah, but then I got dazed, so now I can't block. Oh, this is bad. And I'm bleeding. Oh, no. Okay. Resetting the fight here. Five turns until that thing is ready. Good stuff. Let me pop a healing salve here. And then not waste a turn by hitting space. This is also kind of bad, but I cannot avoid that dash, but I can. Yeah. I'll just go here. Now he won't dash us. Okay, let's try to win this now. There, so then we break that swing, but he had a jump ready, because I didn't check. Okay, sad. There, and he had a rush ready. Let me try to get the gaping wound on him. And I think it worked. Yes, he's bleeding. He is blocking, so I don't want to hit him. I'll just step away. He fixes one bleeding. But that's not enough. And he doesn't have any... He has his dash. Okay, so I will not step away. He had two bandages. Huh. I kind of do want him to dash. But then he didn't. Okay then. Never mind. Hmm. Oh, I don't think he had the energy to dash. He's out of energy. is really annoying. That's why I hate the deserters. Yeah. They are really, really annoying. It's interesting because I don't feel like the skeleton guys were that bad, but I think this this and the armored skeletons, you know, the skeletons they are immune to my bleeding effects and so that kind of counters my build. But I think the reason why the human Armored guys, even though we have the bleed thing over them, they have that, uh, they have a rush and they have a dash, both of which kind of counter my ability to just run away from an enemy, which I am abusing a lot. And so, yeah, that makes them really annoying to fight. Good. Seize the initiative. I don't want to be hit by that. We outplayed him. Have you tried getting stronger? 
Yes, I am trying to alpha. Okay. It looks like I'm not getting the, the good engagement on the boss this time. So... Okay, that might be good. No, they aggroed more than one. I think... What do I think? I think I will open the door. It is the boss coming, yeah. Oh, he will jump me now. Right. Uh, let me... Oh, I didn't think that through. I wanted to stand here and fight. But if I move there, he jumps me and I can't block it then. So I think... Deflect. Oh, he hit his friend. Nice. With Hunter's Mark. So now he has a Hunter's Mark on it. Consecutive shots against the marked target receive a stacking bonus of damage and bleed chance. Extra shot. Consecutive shots. I wonder if that means only ranged attacks. Probably does. But he might hit his friend in the back again. Why not? Sure. Let's hope. <laughs> he did. Perfect. Uh, then we step away here. Oh, he's immobilized. Dang it. boss is running ahead for some reason, so we'll just come up like that. He nets me. That was a smart choice. Then he's gonna run away, but he didn't. Oh, don't let me tell you what to do. But he pushed me away instead. Okay. And then he engages. Not the smartest AI there. Okay. I don't remember there being a big axe dude in that room. Big axe dude, scary. Um. Yeah. How did he do that? Puts the target's abilities on a one turn cooldown, but two turns for some reason. For each injured body part and each missing 20% health. Ah, nice. Super annoying, but cool. Oh, got to switch into the dagger set. But. Dorian Long Axe is worth some money, I think. I am age coming. Time to run away and rest up now. Okay, let's see if we can clear the rest here. Oh, 
that's annoying. Cool. Uh, yeah. Fighting time. And I've never seen them put away their melee weapon and switch back into ranged. Maybe that'll be added in at some point in the game. Development. Because why wouldn't he when I run away? Hammock. Oh. It's a hammock. I'm thinking of a hammock. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very different thing. Uh, bearded axe, traveling dagger, hunter hatchet. were moved around like the, the fire mage was in this room last we were here never seen that before whenever we go back to the same dungeon they're usually placed in the same way but not this time oh that's a cool hat I will pick it up later I will not forget to pick up that hat later. I am not. I can just open the door for him. It doesn't matter. Um. That guy. Arceus. That's a nice little emoji. Oh, that's bad. Run away! I don't think he will jump me here. Gaping wound landed on him? Yes. So we're both bleeding to death. Fun. Fixes his, his bleeding, I will fix mine. He fixes both of his, but they make him bleed more because they count as abilities when he uses them. So he's pretty... bad. Badly off. How is the game going? Pretty well. Uh, when I pay attention and don't goof around, we tend to win. When I goof around and don't pay attention, we tend to lose. So, like, back and forth. <laughs> Most of the time, we don't goof around too much. And then I win. But, like, this guy is pretty scary. So, what is... Does he have a... Yeah, he's a dash... But no jumping ability. Okay, we can deny the dash. So we will... I should throw more stuff at him. It matter. How did I break my leg? What? Oh, he counter-attacked me in, in in the middle of my attacks. I see, yeah, because I attacked twice, and in, in between my two attacks, it was barely visible, but he got a counter-attack in and broke my leg. And then made me dazed. This is how we die. 
if I move, he will dash me. Crap. Yeah. And that didn't work. Okay, that kind of worked. What's his dash cooldown? 11. He's staggered. I need to fix my leg. So let's start with that. That makes me go into deadly pain. So then we dash away. Use the ether inhaler. Now we are intoxicated instead. Trading one thing for another. Let's throw a net at him. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, scary dude. I'll I'll try to play it carefully here and, and rest up before we fight him again. Okay. So his dash is off cooldown, indeed. We can place ourselves here, then he won't. Dash, I should throw stuff at him. Okay. Let's see his initiative again. Put then leg sweep. Lock. I will try to get the gaming wound on him. I don't think we got it. But that did some damage. Now we're winning. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Next enemy. It's kind of scary, though, to think that one of those guys can win against me alone if they're lucky. And then sometimes we're fighting them and other enemies at the same time. He has a jump ability. Yeah, I want to make sure we don't see anyone else join the fight here. You come to the jump. Good. I will try to gaping wound him. Get it. Use the initiative. Next sweep. Throw a thing at him. I bet making a wizard in this game would be fun. It is. It's my favorite build. If you're not that familiar with the game, Arceus, uh, you can ask any question, I'm happy to answer it. I will dash away and break that attack. Yeah, we're running out of energy. Herbal Extract, sure. Speaking of wizards, you got a wizard, Harry. Oh, I goofed. <laughs> um, can I kill him quickly? And I'm out of energy because I didn't rest up. I think we gotta run. Lucky. Yeah, this is bad. Um. <laughs> and I have no energy. I, I can't win that. You're I'm, a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. Yeah, thank you for the follow. <laughs> It looks like a game that's hard to get into at first. It probably is. It's easy to understand what is happening, like how the game plays. You click somewhere to move and you can spend abilities to punch people. But like going from there to mastering the game, it's, uh, it's a different story. There's a lot of overlapping features and mechanics in this game. 
I call it turn-based Diablo, which is close to truth. Okay. Alright. I can do this. That's fine. Then we block. And I'm not gonna leg sweep here, because I don't want to pull more people into this room. We're gonna try to Stop them in the doorway. I'm dazed. Nice. And there they switch. That's fine. Then... We can win that. So... Very good. Next sweep. And this may be a mistake, but if I want to keep distance, I have to step here. And if I want to escape out the door, we have to step there. So, like, do or die here. I think it's do. Oh, he's gonna jump me, right? Yeah, he's gonna jump me. I don't know if next turn or the turn after. That's problematic. I'll just throw a thing. Oh, that's really good. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Pyromancer. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now we stab this guy. And he's down. And then he's on fire. Beautiful. Oh, the fire went away. Now he's going to dash to me. He's going to rush me even. And that's bad. So I think we, to deny that, I go here. Then he's not going to do it. That's Pyromancer is just not hitting anything. I'm just going to ignore him. And he's down. And now we kill the guy. Don't kill me. No mercy. Easy game. It's looked like a lot of fun. How many hours have you put in this game? I think we just rounded 500 hours in this uh, stream here. Also, what made the mage build your favorite? Because I like wizards. But there's multiple mage builds in the game as well. So, like, I think the, um, the Geomancy is my favorite. But I haven't done Geomancy in this update. And so we're gonna do. We have a, we have two runs lined up. I need to do a two-handed maze run that was requested, and then I have a challenge run that we need to do. People are saying that the ranged build is the hardest build in the game right now, so we gotta try that out. And then after that, I want to do a geomancy game. So then I think I've also exhausted myself on on the update until more updates are put out. But uh, that should last me a few more weeks of stone shot. I, th I thought we also had a, a crossbow man coming in, but I should I should rest up instead of just running ahead. There he is, okay. Oh, he hit me with a piercing shot, I see. Yeah, that's a pretty high tier ability for an NPC to have. I will let him open the door here. Oh, he switched into melee already, perfect. Obviously, he's pretty weak in melee. Having no abilities that help him or anything. But no chances taken. And there's the level up. Nice.
Why are you throwing weapons on the ground? Why are you trying to throw them at the enemy? Indeed. Yeah, there's a mischance. And it's pretty uh, hard to hit with uh, throwing weapons in general. Uh, so that's part of the reason why I'm leveling up perception at the moment. So I get more accuracy. Bloop. Uh, yeah, throwing weapons have a high, high, uh, did I click on the ground? Okay, but then, uh, maybe sometimes I do misclick and hit the ground uh, with the throwing weapons. I have noticed that that's something that I do. It's not intentional, though, if that was the question. Uh, I'm trying to hit the enemy. I think sometimes, yeah, I misclick. And I, I just don't care about it too much. It's, it, it's very unlikely that we hit in the first place, and then... It does very little damage, so it's not like a big deal. I'm just doing it to spend a turn. Obviously, it's not. I'm not supposed to click on the ground. Now that's worth a lot of money, that thing. And a an access treatise three. That is a pretty high level book, so that it sells for a lot, but I will pick it up later. Uh, didn't notice you click on the ground if you did. An axe, doable dagger, sword build? Is that what you're asking? Whether the, What the build is? Or, or what's the new skill? Ah, yeah. <clears throat> I have not made up my mind, but I'm leaning towards either the cleaving strike or... The deadly trick. Or I suppose concent Oh, we can't get concentrate. So I would have to get Flurry of Strikes first. I think the Cleaving Strike would be really nice. Because when I'm surrounded... And even if uh, it's just one enemy, this is a pretty good attack. Energy 15. I'm thinking here about the Manticore. How we're going to be surrounded by a lot of little skeletons. And every once in a while there will be a skeleton next to me and the Manticore. And then I can hit both. I want to be always hitting the Manticore whenever I can. And there is a, a thing about the body part damage and the Manticore... If you can d damage its paw, it cannot use its jump ability, which I think would be a pretty nice thing. So getting high body part damage would be good. Uh, access is another way to get that done. And honestly, this is a very, very nice skill. But then I would have to... I think it's a mistake to get an axe into the other hand, on into the other set. You already have Lex Sweep for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. But Lex Sweep is sometimes on cooldown. If not to say uh, Lex Sweep is always on cooldown. I lost... My train of thought entirely here. We've been discussing the level of ability, and I will finish that thought. We should definitely do it before we fight, so I'm not sure why I just ran ahead here. I got impatient. <laughs> what? 29 damage. Wow. I think he's bleeding. Oh, he's bleeding. 16 damage per turn. He's got a rush ability. No, he already spent it. So I will spend my turn fixing my bleeding. And I'll just step away from him here. Yeah. Good. Uh, that charge opened them up for a gaping wound. You, if, if I get the axe. Yeah, and it is a super nice to have... I know we already have the the dash to get to them, and I have... Well, that's my only real movement towards the enemy ability. The mutilating lunge will be give me another engage option to engage at range 2. And I think 
against the Manticore and just a lot of enemies in general that will be pretty useful. And it's such a good attack. Stagger chance, body part damage, bleed chance. And if it fails to inflict injury, the cooldown is reduced by 50%. Like, it's just such a really, yeah, it's just really, really good attack, that one. Uh, so I, mm, I do want it. Okay, come on. See, sometimes the game just doesn't want me to click the thing that is highlighted, so it's not always my fault if I'm missing things. <laughs> and I didn't need to close the door there, it's just like a little OCD thing. When I'm uh, sitting here resting, I don't want to be doing it in front of an open door. That's kind of scary. Can we aggro one of them? I think that worked. Oof. Okay. Nope. Nope. Mercy. Stop. Nope. Okay. And that time it worked. You get the extra dagger attack from dual build training for additional chance of opening for ga gaping wound. Yeah. Are we gonna try gaping wound on the manticore? I hit the troll with gaping wound. I want to say a hundred times, and I'd never landed it. But maybe the Vanticore will be easier to, to get the Gaping Wound on. I have definitely seen an injury on the Vanticore before, which would allow the Gaping Wound to trigger. Alright, Mr. May Sky, you are amazing and very scary. I respect you. Now I will kill you. Here we. Next week. And go here. He will not dash to me. Oh. That was annoying. Not where I wanted you to step, sir. How dare you defy my expectations. I'm staggered. And now I'm out of energy. Okay. Gaping wound triggered. Ah, but he's fixing it. He is. If I let him dash me here, he will start bleeding. Perfect. Gaping wound for the win. Let me fix the bleeding. But then he died. Uh, is the Manticore the last boss? Yes, currently it is. Like the game, this game is still in early access, so uh, the Manticore was uh, released in the newest update, and I would say it's the hardest boss in the game currently. Uh, you went for axe lunge with sword swipe. You just use the sword. Yeah, I know. I know what you meant. I think you, I, we talked about it earlier that the the doable training will trigger on the mutilating lunge and not the sword. I still think the sword is... The, the thing about getting the sword is that I wouldn't have to get an axe into the other weapon set, which I think is slightly better than... Are we done with the dungeon? No, there's more dungeon. But this is the end of the dungeon. Okay, oh, let me check for secret rooms here. No luck. Okay. Rickon Blade is one of the higher tier ones. Let me just check it. Nah, no it's not. Okay. Time to drop all the extra stuff and pick up the loot. The stuff that sells. Is there enough? Oh, there's more dungeon. 
Um, I'm wondering if there's enough arrows on the ground that I can pick up a full stack of arrows. I don't think so, though. Arrows sell for quite a bit. placed myself poorly in in my attempt to be aggressive and have fun again but that worked out very nice yeah now I can't not deny this swing that's kind of sad oh but I countered <laughs> everything's fine he's dead awesome that's more luck than skill uh, this is kind of bad, but I will try to kill him quickly. Yes. Okay. We should be fine here. Ah, come on. Ah, frustrating. It won't take him long to open that door. He has a range 2 ability, so we block. And then... We wait. Yes. Then seize initiative. See, I think that, that getting an axe into the other weapon set will destroy my my two other dagger skills or like make them not worth using and then it's not worth getting the axe and this build is supposed to be a dagger build you know no it won't I, but i disagree the problem is the hand efficiency goes down by 30 30 percent that's pretty significant for the double lunge. 30% less damage off of the, th the double lunge means the 22% damage will be negated entirely by the effic hand efficiency. For every damage skill you get, you get an additional axe strike. So you hit twice with the offhand efficiency and then one with the main hand. Uh, what am I looking for? No, I was looking for the dual wheel training. With the weapon in another hand. Yeah, so the offhand, so the, the extra strike that we get from the dagger will be with the main hand efficiency of the axe. Okay, maybe you're right then. I still feel like it's kind of weird. already bleeding so if I if he's already bleeding gaping wound will guarantee trigger which means now he's bleeding even more and then we leg sweep away instead of doing it immediately and he's dead yeah. no 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 don't be dumb <laughs> rest Keep running ahead like I'm in a hurry. Ooh, a library. Eat this. I'm gonna run further away because I see more people there. He's staggered. Very nice. So we will definitely go uh, and like, attack him here. Nice. Okay, he's bleeding. Very good. Now rest up. 
Is this permanent? It is not. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I saw you have a YouTube with multiple playthroughs with different builds. Is there a playthrough you would recommend to watch if I'm interested in a wizard run? Yes. The, depending on the wizard. There's Electromancer, Geomancy, and Pyromancy. I have at least one really good playthrough of each of them, and I would... It's the most recent one of, of each of them. So, like, I have multiple Geomancy runs, but I would go for the most recent one, for example. Try using Dagger Skill with Sword in Main Hand to test it out. Try using Dagger Skill with Sword in Main Hand to test it out. Sure, I will. Sorry, I had to read that twice. Uh, there's a skill in Dagger Tree which gives hand if you... Yeah, but we don't have that yet. I am aware that the Dagger... It's this one here... Equipping a dagger in the offhand grants offhand efficiency. I would love that. Yeah, we could do some testing. I'm not sure why I haven't really done it yet. Uh, just with the damages. Because it's hard to do in the heat of the battle against really high tier opponents, I suppose. And it has to be on the same opponent. Because if I do it against multiple different opponents, then the, the, the armor damage and the armor levels and stuff will be different. So it is hard to test. What are we doing here? Nice. Oh, he's not gonna come closer? Oh, God damn. I have gonna have to dash into him there then. Cool. So what are we testing here? Yeah, if I do the dagger attack now, I will do two two, two dagger hits and then a after um, Okay, it's it, it's not really oh yeah it's slashing at the on the last one. And if I do a normal oh now it's not him anymore, so then it doesn't count. Yeah. He has the mutilating lunge, so he will use that if I go keeping distance. I want to waste a turn for him, so I will go block. And then I will leg sweep. Uh, can I choose not to? Yes, I can choose not to to use the step, but then that ends my turn, obviously. Okay. Could have guessed that. I am bleeding now. And he is not close to death. Fun. Oh, oh this is bad. Yeah, this is why we don't do testing <laughs> in the high-level dungeons. Okay, I'm gonna win... I'm gonna win. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and we have bandages. Um, will that pain kill me? I'm not sure if I need to spend an ether inhaler here. My immunity is not always already zero, so if I spend an, an ether inhaler, it will destroy the immunity that we have. And I can't rest while we are in deadly pain. There, it goes down. Good. I can beat this necromancer, or not necromancer, but pyromancer. I'm sure. But he might make me aggro more enemies, so that's bad. No, 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 no. Shit. Run away. And yeah, we're gonna have to run away as long as we can here. Come on. And that's it. Okay. Uh, this is not a good way to fight this guy. This is how you die. Yeah, this is how we die. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go away and then like that. And then again, we try to run away and recover some energy here. Okay, I think we, yeah, we're not in strong pain anymore. Okay. 
So we made it. And there's a little bit of energy regen. I'm going to keep running away here. I don't want to die and have to do this dungeon again. Okay, so... Lock that. Oh, and I didn't switch my weapons around. Dang it. Got a good opening, though. I think he's bleeding. Keep the sword in the main hand. Oh, okay. Then well, maybe I misunderstood you. Try using dagger skill with sword in main hand to test it out. I have done that. But I'll do it again if you want to see it. I did that against the troll. The troll was a really good test subject for that kind of stuff. But I didn't have the off, uh, the dual wield mastery, I suppose. So now I will do it here. We will go for the dagger attacks. And then I think he blocked some of it, but let me open it here. Piercing, piercing, slashing. He didn't have to do it, but yeah, okay. But the troll be trolling. Did you, did you didn't find a solution for the cursor thing? Oh, is the cursor not on the screen right now? Oh. So now it should be fine, and then I need to open chat here, and then back into the game, and you should have a cursor now. Sorry about that, I didn't realize it was gone. The solution was to have an extra screen. I'm using my TV to have the game on, then the chat here, and then another game here. <laughs> And I, it's just weird, but it works now. Oh, do we treat this too? Ah, okay. I don't think we've read it before. We have not. Solutions are interesting, but they work, Jawafa. I'm an engineer. If it works, even if I have to fix it with duct tape, I'll do it. Do you have a time pressure in this game, or are you free to explore and grow your character? I have the time pressure of people watching my streams expecting to be entertained, so I have, feel like I have some time pressure, but otherwise, no. If you're playing on your own, you can do it at your own pace. Uh, this is an identification scroll, and we can spend that right now. I'm also a little bit impatient when it comes to stuff like that. Because I don't think it's fun to run around and farm for, uh, for three hours. But you could, in theory, you could farm your, your like three levels or something before you start doing dungeons, and then you would be ahead of the curve and probably never really be in danger. I, I try to play the game as intended, where we go to the dungeons when we have them available and such. Uh, with the forethought of we have to survive it as well. Okay, I think I cleared the dungeon now. We will pick up the Jade figurine and the unidentified headgear over here, and then that's going to fill up my inventory, so there won't be space for all the extra stuff. Time pressure is just food water. Yeah, but it's not that expensive. You can literally, if you, again, if you want to spend the time doing it, you can forage in the forest, in the bushes, and you can live off the land, basically, without ever having to buy food. Or at least, yeah, it's, and then the food is cheap enough that you don't have to worry about it. Like, it, that's not going to be your stopping block. Like, it, it, it is the own, your own feeling of how much time do I want to spend farming. That's really the only limiter. You hat. Incoming. And yeah, I really gotta upgrade my chest piece soon. We 
do have X number of days to finish contracts, and yes, stuff respawn after five days average. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, so, of course, you can't know that when first you play, but the, 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 the trick is to just not take a contract if you don't think you can do it. And they do have little skulls next to them. So if like as if an, if a contract has uh, one skull, it means it'll be an easy cakewalk. Two skulls means that you should be able to do it without you know spending too many resources. Three skulls is where you start dying, and you shouldn't do four skull uh, contracts unless you are a masochist. You can level up and farm without taking contracts. And four skulls, by the way, is the the max that you can have. <laughs> 